my kids have prevented me from getting a Twitter account. Um, they, because they call me the king of Facebook anyway, and I'm gonna be honest with you, um, I'm on Facebook all the time. I don't use it as a real estate platform. I grew up 50 miles north of here. I get a lot of my business from referrals from out of state. Um, I wanna give you guys just an insight into what Facebook and some of the social media can do. And don't take this the wrong, the wrong way. Last year I did 45 outbound referral transactions, which was number one in the uh, United States for Century 21 from Facebook. I rarely ever put anything on Facebook about real estate. I talk about my family, I talk about politics, I'm not afraid to step on somebody's toes. If they don't like it, that's okay. I mean, we all have different opinions of things. <clears throat> I'm on LinkedIn, I have no clue how to use it. You, if you'll send me LinkedIn, I'll accept your invitation. If you uh, say, hey, here's, uh, we've endorsed your expertise and skills, I have no idea what that means. I don't know if I've got to add it to it. To I, have, one. I have no clue. Bob right hand corner tells you the last five people who looked at your profile, and that could be interesting. We'll have training right after this for all of those reasons. But, but to me, Facebook is a really easy tool to use and connect. I accept almost every person that asked for uh, to accept it. Cindy's one of the few realtors that, just so you know, that's on my Facebook. Reason being, I mean, take this for what it's worth. To me, the social media website is if I invite Cindy into all of my friends and network and she's a better real estate agent than I am, she might steal some of my clients. So I don't have very many realtors on my Facebook. Um, I don't think Mark Humphrey is, or I, I don't know if he is or not. Hi, Mark, by the way. Mark and I worked at Trinity 20 years ago. Um, so I think social media is very important if you use it in the right realm. Uh, but I, I think you have to be very careful, especially in Facebook. I think, I, and I've watched how Cindy does it. It's one of the reasons that she's one of my friends is I like to see what other agents do at times and see how they can institute it to be successful. But again, I think you have to be careful. I, I've seen agents that all they do is real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate, and I get to the point where I don't pay attention to them anymore. So be dynamic on Facebook, talk about a lot of topics, and people will start to engage in you. I mean, I've had 150, 200 likes on, and, and that's what my kids always tease me about, on posts and stuff like that. Be passionate on Facebook so people know who you are, that you're just not a real estate agent. Um, your family. How do you balance real estate and your unlicensed or licensed spouses. Um, but more importantly, how do you make time for them? How, and we know real estate can pull us out at eight o'clock at night, at nine o'clock on a Saturday morning, et cetera. Do you put restrictions on your time for family? And how do you do that? And how do you make that time when it's important to do so? <coughs> and, tell, and, who, and tell us about your family too. Um, I have three sons, Greg, Matt, and John. They're adults. And uh, I'm expecting my fourth grandchild very soon. Thank you. Uh, I think for the good news for me is that when I started in the real estate business, my boys were in uh, seventh, I'm sorry, fifth, seventh, and ninth grade. And when you first start out in real estate, you're not very active. It. there's not a lot going on so that all worked out well by the time they were in high school that I was able to spend more time with my business uh, the person who had the hardest time was my husband Jack just didn't get it that I had to take a phone call when I did and uh, I really am guilty of working too many hours but I think that all of us and I think our spouses grow to learn that we need to be able to do that to, and it's not even so much be successful, it's to help our clients and take care of their needs. Um, but in any event, I don't think that uh, it ever took away from the sons. I think Jack may have felt slighted at times, but I truly look back and I don't know what he was doing that he wanted me there. <laughs> so it's like, 
but he's very happy now. He's retired. Um, he a, was a JCPenney executive, and now he golfs every day. So he could care less how much I'm out doing my real estate. And uh, did I answer your question? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I want to be Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> I tell everyone I can't quit working because I have to support my husband's golf game. That's kind of my story too. My husband likes me working so that I can keep him in the lifestyle that he has grown accustomed to. <laughs> so um, our kids are all grown too. And for those of you that have little people, I mean, it is tough with little people. I'm in a blended family. Um, Tim has two kids and I have two and they're 24, 26, 28, and 35. So I don't have that, that issue. I do have two weddings being planned, however, so that's pulling me a little bit. But, so I don't have good advice for that because I'm in a different place. Well, we can have with your spouse. Do you, do you make a date night? Do you go away sure. each year on a long vacation? Do you? Okay. Yes, to all of that, but, but I do have that phone addiction. It's after though now. I do not bring it on certain things. Wow, how do you balance uh, kids? I was in new home construction for uh, 10 years, five years in sales, five years in management. I left sales for the sole purpose to be home with my kids. Um, my kids, I was starting just to begin to miss things they were involved in. And I can tell you that management in new homes does not pay what uh, new home sales does. So it was an adjustment period in time. My wife went back to work and the kids started school so I could afford to take that pay cut. But one of the greatest things about our business is the flexibility of it. My kids are 19, soon to be 20, 22, and 24, all three in college for four straight years. That's what uh, gets me up in the morning. I see seven, 14, 18 years of college and three kids. Um, but the, from a timing perspective, it's not hard to manage the time if, again, all your free time when you're not working is with your family. This is probably the first MyBor meeting I've been to in two years. And again, it's nothing against MyBor. Uh, but like when we have office parties, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't go to the office parties. So you've got to make a personal choice in our business a lot of times. Is it your family or is it your business? And I work hard and I work a lot of hours, but when I'm not at work, I'm with my wife or my three kids. And I bought a lake house on Morris for the sole purpose hoping my three kids don't leave Indianapolis and they want to party up at Morse. And I let them party, by the way. 